Morning everyone, thanks for joining me. Welcome back to plot one. So last week I dug over the back end of this plot. It's only been dug once, but today I'm gonna to start making the wildlife pond. I'm gonna use the Joel Ashton method and I'll explain more about that later on. But for now, I've marked out a rectangle three meters by two meters to show me roughly where I want to place my wildlife pond. So it's not gonna be rectangular. It's gonna be a nice teardrop shape with the deepest part in the bottom of the teardrop, like a well, and up here is going to be like a beach effect. And I'm hoping to get the well between 90 to 100 centimetres. That's more or less three foot deep, and I'll explain more about that later on. So let's get started on this, and I'll mark out the shape of the pond using a hose pipe. As you can see, that's an approximate sort of oval shape or teardrop with the beach end being up this end. So I'm going to mark that out with a spade or a mattock. So I've dug down a spade's depth all the way around this hose pipe to give me an approximate idea. Now, these are not ideal soil conditions. Unfortunately, the soil is very soft where I dug it over. So uh, I'll see how I get on anyway. The main thing is to start digging. So you can see that I've dug out the depth of one fork uh, all around the shape of that pond and up the far end here I'm piling the soil up because that end is lower obviously you come up the slope here um, so I'm anticipating that the water level will be higher up there. Next thing is to dig down over there and try and get down a nice big well to about 90 centimetres, three foot. So what I'm going to do next is before I start digging up and setting aside this subsoil, I'm going to retread and form the shallow borders of this pond, which will be 150 millimetres deep and about 30 centimetres or 300 millimetres uh, wide to form a ledge coming up here up which there'll be a return for the pond liner. So we'll, uh, we'll get it in a bit more of a form, a bit more shaped, a bit more solid before I can start digging out the uh, subsoil. So I've got to the stage now where I've roughly formed a shelf going all the way around the outside of the pond there. It's about 150 millimetres by 300 millimetres. That's going to form a boggy area or marginal areas and uh, it's all going to be lined. Next in the centre here I'm beginning to dig deeper and I've got down as far as the subsoil where the soil starts to change in colour and quality and I'm going to dig this out and save it and put it to one side and I'm going to form a well here 90 to 100 centimetres. That's about three three foot and a bit down where I'm going to form a well to get the deepest parts of the pond. Well welcome back it's the next day and I'm standing at the bottom of a well that I've been digging this morning. I've been using my iron bar with the chisel end on to help me get through the subsoil which is a very useful tool and I've now got down to some orange clay subsoil which I'm separating out and piling over there and that's to be used to line some of the pond later on. Uh, I've got down to about a metre from the topsoil level, which is where I want the water to come. So I'm going to finish digging out the rest of this well, and then I'm ready to shape it and give it a bit more of a gradual slope in sides, etc. 
so that any little animals that fall in can easily get out. So I'll put you on time lapse, do a bit of that, and I'll bring you back when I've got a bit further. I'm standing in a one meter deep well in the back end of the pond and I'm now ready to shape like a bowl shape coming out of this well to the rest of the pond. So it's more like a, a beach effect. Uh, that'll make this bit a bit shallower and a bit more smoother coming out of the well around to the sides of the pond. So let's crack on with that bit. I'll bring you back. So I've decided I need some more subsoil, that orange stuff towards the bottom end of that well. So what I'm going to do is take out a section here of the medium subsoil, pile it up over there ready to backfill, and I'm going to take out the subsoil and uh, well pile it up over here and keep it to one side. And then I'm going to put that medium subsoil back in to form this shallow well. And I'll probably extend the pond a little bit that way first. Uh, I'm not sure how well you can see that but I've got down to a shelf of orange subsoil by digging outwards from this well that I dug a meter down. I'm going to finish digging that shelf out to get more subsoil. I think that's really hard to see in this low sun in the sky but you can see I've made a kind of a shape where I've dug out the subsoil over there and uh, I've piled it up over here. Also, the sun piled up over this side here. And uh, now what I'm going to do is use that mid-level soil over there and here to make a bowl shape uh, out of this well up into a shallow shelf, basically, which will join the one going around the edge here. And then I'll level up the sides, back and front, etc., and uh, see what I've got. taking shape gradually. Uh, I've uh, neatened up the sides around here. I've got a bit more work to do there, but you can see a long beach is taking shape coming out of the well, this end, going up towards the front end, and that's going to be the main beach effect up here. So uh, what I'm going to do now is uh, carry on doing that and I'll bring you back when it's uh, more or less in shape. That's more or less the shape that I was after. You've got the nice oval shape that's going around there. That's the top end, that's the back end. That, I'm calling that the front end. And the well in the middle here, and then a beach that goes up gradually, and the sides are not too steep. So you can see there, I've got a nice lip all the way around of about 150 millimeters. And this is the front end, and then there's a gradual slope, like a beach effect down to the bottom of the well. And down there is 90 to 100 centimeters down from the top. The next job is to level it up. So I'm going to put a spirit level across or a piece of wood and check the levels across and then back to front. So I've got this length of batten running from back to front and I'm going to put the spirit level on there and show you that it's, uh, it's level going from front to back. Not sure you can see that but uh, it's more or less in the centre so I'm happy with that one. Now I've got a shorter piece of batten running from side to side and that shows you, I'll zoom in a minute and I'll show you that uh, that's more or less level, the bubble's in the middle. So overall, I'm quite pleased with that. Uh, shape of the pond, it's like a nice oval shape uh, with slightly wider towards the bottom end, a nice deep well and a nice beach going down to the well. 90 to 100 centimeters deep and it's level front to back and side to side. So that's how you, or how I, dig out 
and shape a wildlife pond on my allotment plot. Thanks for watching guys. Come back again soon to see the next part. Cheers.